Welcome back to the Wicked Kitchen. We are going to show you how to pimp up some of these new Wicked Kitchen instant pots. Pot noodles, packet snacks, whatever you want to call them. They are so easy to just make some really quick time-saving meals and it's not expensive at all. The flavors are great, you guys, and when you see what we're going to do with it, you're going to want to make this. So let's get right to it. So with this purple rice, what I'm gonna do is make some really quick scallops with it. So we have the king oyster mushrooms that we also have available in the Wicked Kitchen uh, at in the produce department, in the veggie department. And we're gonna just do some quick scallops. So what I wanna do is try to make enough for two people here. One pot, two people, one package of mushrooms is three in a, three in a pack. You can average three scallops, three good sized scallops out of one, right? And I'm just cutting, we'll use these, we'll use the whole mushroom, so I'm just cutting that bit off first. Cool. So one of the tricks is to score the mushrooms. So, you know I'm a huge fan of the mushrooms, and we like to just score them, so I score both sides. The slight incisions, they'll collect a little bit of the the oils and the fats that we're going to fry them in and it just turns a nice golden brown. In fact, I'm going to turn on the stove here. This is how you make super nice, great presentation. It's just these little things that really elevate the, the food visually, which then in turn helps it taste better. Cool. And then these bits. We just add a little bit of garlic. This will add some nice flavor towards the end. So I have a little bit of vegetable oil here and we're just gonna add it to the, the pan that we heated up about medium high heat until it's really ripping hot, okay? So we just add a little bit of the oil, just like a tablespoon. Because we're using cast iron pans, I gotta remember all the time, use a towel, swish around the oil. Gonna throw these right in the center. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna grab my kettle. Let me see, there's a fill line. Just look for the fill line right here and fill it up. Right there. And then I like to stir it up quick. And I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes and then we'll get back to the mushroom scallops. With the scallops, you'll notice the, these mushrooms, they tend to soak up the oil a lot. Like imagine these king oysters as being like little tiny sponges. It's nice. So we're gonna give them a quick flip over. They already look gorgeous. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm not adding too much seasoning because I know there's a lot of flavor in that pot. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna add a little bit of butter and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Put that right there. And I'm gonna pop this in the oven. It's nice. All right, so I'm gonna grab it out of the oven. It's been about five minutes in the oven, uh, 200 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna put my tongs. So, look at these look nice. I'm gonna turn that back on. It's beautiful. All right, so while these are here, right? So this is what I'm gonna add. A little bit of the garlic here. Add a little bit of the wine, so we're gonna make a nice little white wine butter reduction. So it's about a quarter cup. 
a little bit of that. And then add a little bit more of the butter here just to keep that sauce nice and creamy. Looks beautiful. It smells delicious, you guys. Oh. So we're gonna do a little bit of this here. And then we'll just plate it up nicely. And for the last bit, make sure this pan is still going hot. I'm gonna add the spinach right to this. So this is how I like to clean up the pan anyways. It makes quick work of cooking and cleaning at the same time. Takes a minute. Pinch of salt, just a little bit, and a pinch of pepper. Now the spinach already has that nice garlic wine sauce underneath, so it's gonna soak in that flavor. A few of those mushroom bits in there. And we're just looking for a nice wilt. Now remember, this is a very, very simple way to just pimp the pots out, so you're making a full, complete, decadent meal out of something that's made to be super convenient, super easy. And this is a, you know, I'm not gonna lie, if I'm in a pinch and I'm having somebody over for dinner, this is one of my fallbacks. It's delicious. It looks amazing. And then use the sauce on the, around the edge. And there you have it. My wicked purple rice scallop with a garlic white wine sauce. It's delicious, you guys. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, swipe up, do all that cool shit, or don't do anything. Are we ready? Are we on? Are we rolling? Look, it's nothing, nothing against uh, him being taller than you, you guys. But I'm gonna look at him the whole time. <laughs>